all of our baits that we have. Uh, I'm going to be doing my frog box for this video. Hope you like it and enjoy. My favorite lure is the frog and I have quite a few frogs I think and it's my favorite box that I have. It's my favorite lure to use and I think it's really effective if you know how to use them right but here it is. Okay here are all of my frogs. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 frogs. Um, I think that's quite a bit, but I definitely could have more. Mostly Booyah Pad Crashers or Booyah Poppin' Frogs, but yeah, here we go. Um, right here is a Booyah Pad Crasher. It's like a bullfrog color. It has a greenish white bottom. But I like this frog a lot. I've used this one probably the most. Caught the most fish on it. And you definitely, like we said in our last video, our Cabela's trip video, make sure you check that out. You don't want the legs to be past the tip of the frog. So I have that one. Next, this is another Booyah Pad Crusher. This one's called Old, Old Smokey. It's like a gray frog with black spots. Hookup ratio looks pretty good on this. And it works really well. But yeah, that's Old Smokey. I'm not for sure the name of all these, but you get the idea as I'm showing you. Um, this is a white frog. It's a Booyah Pad Crusher, once again. It has some gray and black spots on it. White bottom really helps out. It's just a pure white. Yep. Next, got this black and red frog. Um, on those darker, more gloomy days, you want to use a darker bottom frog. It gets a uh, bass's attention more often, or if you're fishing dirtier waters. But yeah, um, this one would be work for a dirtier water or a darker day. But yeah, that's this. Next. Uh, now, we have another Booyah Pack Crusher, white and yellow bottom. It's a darker frog for the top. Um... I really like this one a lot. This is probably my second favorite. But I use this one a lot also. And yeah. One more of the regular pad crashers. I just purchased this one in our last Cabela's video. If you want to go check that out. Um, it's just a regular Booyah pad crasher. Almost similar to the last one I just showed you. Just a little different. More of a brown, lighter brown bottom. That's that. Next. Booyah Poppin' Frog. I like to use Poppin' Frogs a lot. Also, depends on the day. But, black bottom, darker day, darker water. Let's throw this on. This will work perfect. Next is a Shad Colored Poppin' Frog. White, kind of tannish white bottom. Um, this will work on a sunny day. Any day like that. Clear waters. Doesn't really necessarily have to be clear, but... Yeah, this will work pretty good. Um, next, I'm not for sure what kind of frog this is. Uh, my aunt's boyfriend gave it to me. It might be a river to sea uh, bronze eye frog, I'm pretty sure. But I haven't used this yet. It was given to me out of a mystery tackle box. I get lucky tackle box, so I won't know much about it. But yeah. Next, got this Lunker Hunt. Here it says right there, Lunker Hunt frog. It's brownish, white and yellow belly. And what I like about this is the legs are free, like free swinging legs. They're not just the uh, skirted. And it's more realistic. Now, this one's just kind of older. Well, yeah, kind of older, and it was cheap, so I picked it up. It's just a little. I don't even know the brand, but it's actually works. It's caught fish on it before. Just a little frog. Throw that on there. Um, next, we have a scum frog. Uh, I've caught several fish on that. It's not my favorite frog by any means, but it definitely gets the job done when you need it to. And yeah, it just has, it's just all of a chartreuse color. Now this is a bobby's frog it works really well i just picked it up from a local fishing store and favorite part probably is the hookup ratio 
has a great ratio. I don't know if you can see. That's the ratio. And it also comes with a trailer hook. You can remove that and throw that on any one. But I'm keeping it primarily on this. And it actually has a rattle to it. Oh. Um, I did not say this, but this is also one of my Booyah Poppin' Frogs. This is a yellow and black. Yellow belly. Same idea as the other ones. Now, I have the KVD Frogs. Um, this is just... I also got this on our last Cabela's video, if you want to check that out. I like these frogs a lot. Hookup ratio isn't as good as some of them, but it definitely gets the job done. Um, has a little realistic arms, and more of a realistic belly. Has a different texture. Yep, that's a sexy frog. This is just a black one for those darker days, gloomier waters. Just hooked myself. But, yeah, same idea as the other frogs, just... Gets the job done. Has a rattle to it. Now this is another sexy frog. It's more of like a confetti almost color. And has a white belly so it really works. It, many might not think it works but it has a white belly and those are the best. Many fish are attracted to the bellies. But that's that. Got this one for pretty cheap I'm pretty sure. So I picked that up and it works. Thank you for watching another Jawbreakers fishing video. Um, there's going to be many more of these to come, but we're going to do some more fishing videos soon when the water opens up. Right now where I live, it's frozen over, and me and Ethan are going to do some fishing videos, some challenges, go to Cabela's, have some more. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment.